What is going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach, and we are playing some Rush Royale today. Oh, I shouldn't spam tap. We're playing a little bit of a different deck than we have uh, in the last couple days. Uh-oh, this guy's not even doing anything. Come on, Pharaoh... Pharaohmon? Pharaohmon? Alright, well, we're starting this video off with a free win. That's what you like to see. That's what you guys came to this channel for, right? No, probably not. But, that's a win. I, I don't know what he's doing. <clears throat> if he's... Wow. Four, why did we get 44 trophies? He was well below us. Very bizarre start. No, I don't want the rewards chest. We have been teetering back and forth along like 6,100, up and down, 62, 63, like right around there, and haven't really pushed much further. <clears throat> but we're using a different deck than we have in the past. That's what I was trying to say before. And, uh, and it's been working pretty good. But, I mean, it's still not the best deck in the game. I mean, this deck before the Thunderer... Uh, with Meteor meta came out was probably the best deck in the game other than well it was probably like equal with this one and the Inquisitor cold mage deck and I was a big fan probably still am a bigger fan of the cold mage deck but you don't have enough damage output anymore to uh, deal with Thunder or Meteor with the cold mage version of this deck so now I'm using this deck Biggest critique I have is that you brick a lot. You brick a lot, a lot, a lot with this deck, but it's pretty fun to play, and I think I'm getting better at it, um, but it's definitely been a little interesting. So let's just take this guy out, and then I'm going to start slowly spamming. If we'll ever take this guy out, wow, this is slow as anything can be. Okay, well, now we got to find a couple. Come on. Okay, we found one. Holy smokes! Woo, okay, we are alive. We've got four Inquisitors on the board. Two of them are ranked uh, four. So we're going to go up against Bedlam in 42 seconds. And, and we should be just fine. So basically, when I go up against Bedlam, I'm going to keep the board the way it is. And then after he switches me around... Actually, he might not even switch me around because we do have Bombardier in this deck. Um, which I haven't even talked about what the deck is. I'm a mess. This is the first game of the morning other than the Brick. Or not, I guess he... No, he didn't even Brick. He just didn't show up. Um, but yeah, other than if we do get switched around with Bedlam, then I'll just spam my board, get it to where I'm, where I want it to be, and we should be all good. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that I've been putting out. I did the new, no legendary challenge, even though I don't like saying it's a challenge video again. I know you guys love that one, and I also, if you haven't checked it out, check out my other games that I'm playing. I tried out Stick War Legacy. It was an absolutely hilarious game. If you guys watched it, and didn't get to the end, get to the end, because the end is the funniest part. And uh, and then I'm also putting out Clash Royale videos. It looks like he's going to switch me around. That's okay. Let's just spam the board. Gives us a better opportunity. We should be able to take him out just fine. Honestly, it'll be it'll be. Fine. So there we go. Let's try and get... Hmm, I guess we'll just do that for... Oh, we have... Uh, I didn't notice that we had one over there. Okay, we're going to be fine. Let's level up one of our guys. We do have a level 2 grindstone connected over here, so that's pretty cool. Let's get our grindstone up. And uh, and I think we're in pretty good shape. And it's going to be an interesting battle. So we're doing the exact same deck as our boy here, except... Actually, no, it's a little bit different. Um, I was going to say except he had Thunderer, but I have Bombardier, and he has Summoner in his deck also. So not exactly a mirror matchup other than the damage unit. So it should be a good battle, and we're going to see what we can do. But... Uh, one of the things I did want to discuss in this video is that we are trying to push for those 103rd chests, okay? We're trying to get there um, to where we get a, another legendary at 103, and then you get a you know the pack at the end or whatever. And if we make it to the end, which I, I fully expect to make it all the way to the end, I know we have like, a two, like two weeks, maybe a little under two weeks now. Um, but once we get to the end, I will open up the season pass and I will do the entire chest opening just like I did the time before and uh, And we should be pretty good. So and It should be fun. So you know what we're going up against Bedlam in 27 seconds We're just leveling stuff up when you go up against Bedlam it doesn't really matter how you're gonna be set up because I'm expecting to get switched around But now we've got you know what? Let's just get a guy over here because it's gonna be next to our level three and, uh, and like I said, this stuff, this stuff isn't going to matter. I'm going to keep, I was going to switch my Harlequin into a Bombardier, but let's just keep it the way it is for now. 
because if I start spamming the board, maybe it'll turn into a dryad or something useful. So let's just level up our bombardier. Now all of our stuff is maxed. And we should be in good shape. Wow, we're going to take this guy out pretty quickly. He took him out even quicker. But I'm really liking what our board's looking like. And uh, at this point, let's just hit our board just a few times here. Let's see what we can get. Okay, that's actually going to be helpful. Let's just do this. We'll do another one. <clears throat> okay. It's going to be a little bit dangerous to combine out here, but let's just see what we can get. All right, we're in really good shape right now. Let's get our um, Inquisitor to four. I like to keep one of my Inquisitors at rank one, and this is probably a very interesting tip that I would give you guys. And I'm not the best player in the world, and certainly not the best player with this deck, but I like to have at least one of my Inquisitors at rank one, so if I need to combine out, I can. Okay, so we're still going. This guy needs to get up now. We're starting to lose a little bit of traction. We got 300. Just combine out here. Trying to fight back. We got 25 seconds. Now we have a rank 2 Bombardier, which is pretty good. We still got a bunch of mana. Let's just keep on going little by little, right? I think if I was playing this deck about a week ago, I would be like spam tapping right away, trying to go from 4 to 9 or something like that. But now I'm trying to take it much more slow. That's my speed anyway. You guys know I like to just kind of chill out. Take my time. That's my whole vibe anyway. So playing this deck like that, I think, is better. And you're just a little bit more careful. So now we got a rank 4, a rank 3, a rank 2, and a rank 1. We should have no problem taking this guy out before he makes any switches. We did. Now we have 4,000 mana. So let's still just go little by little, switching around, see what we can do. All right, that's not ideal. But let's do this, and then we can do that. Okay. Let's get a grindstone down here. That's pretty good. And so, yeah, now we have two rank twos, a rank three, a rank four. That tip I just gave you, I'm not doing it at all <laughs> because uh, we didn't have the right amount. But now we're going to be going up against Warlock in 36 seconds. And I know I got to keep using my mana. I know I got to keep using my mana. Okay. Let's do one more. Hmm. I got to combine out somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where. Let's go down here. Okay, let's get one more guy on our board. Okay. We can rank up a level two here, which should be good. We got two rank threes now and a rank four. <clears throat> We're both hanging around about the same spot. And uh, going up against bosses, we should be better off. Because we still have that slow from the Bombardier, just like he does with his just regular stun from Thunderer. But he also... Wow, that was pretty crazy by him. I'm going to do the same thing if, he can, if I can. So let's do this. And we can get one more just to... Oh, uh, okay. We... Um, there we go. So we're still trying to take him out. We're back up to four. Let's see if we can not take another hit, because that would be ideal. All right, so we took him out. We've now got two rank fours and a ton of grindstones and two rank twos. So still slow and steady, slow and steady. With this deck, you can just stay at four for the most part. Um, not always super beneficial, but you can. I, I sometimes get to nine. I sometimes get to four and just stay there. But as you can see, we're already starting to lose a little bit of traction. And this is where it gets really, really sketchy. I got 9,000 mana. And, uh, and I don't want to spam my board because then um, if I get the wrong number, I'll be in a lot of trouble. More trouble than I would be if I just kind of held on. So let's try and make a little bit of a couple plays. Wow, he's making a ton of moves. Holy smokes, he got up to a rank 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we've got 12 seconds. This is actually going really good. It looks like this is going to be a GG. Come on, get there, baby. That's a hit. That's a hit. And that is a victory. A guy at 6,300 trophies running the Thunderer Grindstone deck. So if you guys thought this Inquisitor deck is dead, it's not. It's, it's not dead. It's not. I didn't even see how many trophies we got, but we got a good amount. Um, back up to 6,200. You love to see it. The thing is with this deck is... You can win games like that, and you feel great. But then the very next game, you just brick, and and and, and it, you know you go up thirty trophies, go down thirty trophies because you win a big game in a hard fought game. Right? I had to play that game right to win it. 
and uh, and then you just end up bricking, and 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 then that's the game. So now we're going up against a shaman deck. Oh yes, baby! You guys saw that? That dryad was amazing. And I'm just gonna hold on for right now because he doesn't have another shaman right now. Okay, now he does. But there we got one right back. Now at least we have another one on the board. But this has already been really, really sketchy. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get a shaman right away. Okay, we got we got 430. I like to wait until we take out a boss, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Let's just... I probably should have just waited on that. That's a mistake on my part that I just did. It's good that I got him to rank 2. But, uh, okay, let's just combine out. Okay, that was pretty good. I think we're in a pretty good spot. So let's just try and spam a little bit. Okay, we got it next to a grindstone. That's pretty cool. Let's keep on leveling up. Okay, that's kind of fine, I guess. I guess I'll just do that. Weird. He's bullying me, guys. He's bullying me. We got 700 mana. We're in a decent spot, though. We're in a decent spot. Let's combine out. Okay, we need to find another one. Alright, we found another one just like that. It is Puppeteer, so I don't like to level up my stuff when I go up against Puppeteer, just because if he levels me down, it's not really beneficial. I'm okay if he if we take a while to take out the Puppeteer. I'm okay with that. So I'd rather just not level up my stuff until after we're done taking out the boss. But let's see. Okay, he's hitting me again. He's bullying me with the Shaman. The Shaman is still one of the best cards in the game. Uh, and he's got the combination with Summoner, Harlequin, and Mime. So he's just going to be spamming all day long. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do. Puppeteer's coming. It's going to move me all around. That doesn't matter. Oh, we did stun it, so that's kind of massive. Just to give us... Uh, our, gives ourselves a little bit extra time. My grindstones are in weird spots anyway, so I don't really care about that. And we got 1,200 mana. See right there, it leveled us down. Maybe if I had leveled my Inquisitor up, we could have taken it out sooner and it wouldn't have leveled us down. But that means I would have just slightly less mana than I do right now to where after this little thing goes, we can uh, spam our board a little bit. Wow, that was nice. Okay. So let's just get... This guy's connected to a... A grindstone, so let's get him up. We are going up against Bedlam now. So let's start leveling up our stuff and try to push against this guy. Um, which, if we can get set up and if we don't mess up in the late game, we should be able to take him out. We should be able to take him out. I'm just going to combine out here, to be honest, because I have some mana to do so. Let's do that. I like to try and keep as much mana on the field as I can so that... If I need to, hmm, jeez Louise, let's do that, okay, I really need my mana to build back up so I can, okay, that's fine, let's let him take it, I need my mana to build back up so I can get to a better spot, okay, that was good, let's just get our guys up a little bit. But Bedlam's going to be very, very tough. Because he's bothering me all over the place. We do have a good, a high level in Quiz. We do have a high-ish level Bombardier. We're getting hit with the Wi-Fi bars. This guy's a dirty shaman, shaman user. So he's probably also got a lag switch. That's what my assumption is. No, probably not. But I'm trying my best to work towards the beginning of the board. Go back towards the portal because then we're going to have a really good shot to take out our guy. Hitting one of my level threes, that's kind of okay. But his monster, his boss is going to be almost double ours. Come on, hit it. Okay, so we did stun it. We're taking it out pretty slowly. Oh my goodness, that was close. But let's do a little bit of spamming here. Just a little bit. He's hitting me like crazy, man. Will you relax? Okay, we still need to keep a good amount of mana on the board, so let's try and get to like, mm, I don't know, 1500 is probably decent, and then I'm going to level my guys up to max. 
I'm leaving some dry odds on the board right now, just so if he comes down with a shaman, I can combine them out. Let's actually just combine ones here so I can combine them onto a Inquisitor right away. That's ideal. So he's going to hit me pretty soon. Let's go over here. Let's go down here. Okay, so that was really good. Those were all useless to him. That one hit me. But we're kind of okay. We don't have, like, anything going on for us. So we got to start doing, like, a little bit of something. Okay, we got a grindstone. We've got 28 seconds. I should have combined the other way. Hmm. Getting to the end of our board. Yeah, this dude, man. The shaman. The shaman. Dirty shaman user. Can we hold on for 10-ish seconds until tamer? I'm not sure. I can't spam my board because I can't get the wrong amount. Oh, come on. Three seconds. Come on, baby. Survive. Survive. Oh, my God. We took a hit. Let's just spam a little bit. Uh, I gotta do this. Okay. Hmm. I gotta do that. We're now out of mana. But maybe we'll be able to take this guy out. Um, I think we'll be able to. We do have a grindstone over here sneakily connected to a Inquisitor. And we've got two, three rank threes and a rank one. It's hitting my bombardier. Um, but it looks like we're gonna be able to take him out. And we couldn't even take one hit any anyway because we've already taken a hit. So we're definitely not in a great spot. We only we only have 400 mana going up against every buy for a new unit is 400 mana. So, mm. Going up against Bedlam, clearly his board is better than mine. But there's not a whole lot that I can do, to be perfectly honest. He's bothered me so much that we're in a really, really tough spot. Already starting to lose some traction. What the heck? Uh, just allow, I guess. Why did that just pop up? I have Do Not Disturb on my phone. That was very strange. He's gonna hit me again. Come on. Um, we're actually relatively even right now, but Bedlam's actually gonna be really, really tough for us. Over here. Okay, that's not good. Let's go this way. Okay, we took that out. Bedlam's gonna be super tough. Um, hmm. Two million to take out. Not sure, guys. Not sure. I'm gonna leave my board because it's gonna switch me around. We can't even get it below. Uh, let's just get another four on the board. That's all we can do is keep trying to get to four. But I think he's going to kill it, and I don't think we're going to kill it. Really, really tough. Um, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and this is going to be a loss. Wow, that's a really, really tough loss for the end of this video. I don't, I don't even really know what to say. Um, oh, where's this guy? He's only at 6,300. He's got... Everything's just level 7. A level 10 Thunderer, yeah. I mean, the thing is, you can... I mean, that's just Boreas Shaman, right? That's just Boreas Shaman except with Thunderer. And, uh, it, you know, nothing he did offensively mattered. It was all the fact that he just kept hitting me so, so hard. That's why, I mean, the only nerf that they gave the Shaman was the uh, the speed that it came down in which you could, like, make switches or something like that. But you're still profiting like crazy, especially against... Um, especially against Inquisitor decks. But check this deck out. It's really, really fun to play. If you don't brick and if you don't get messed up by Shaman, it's a really fun deck to play. So check it out. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.